What's going on guys? I'm Tyler and I'm continuing my silent movie series leading up to the release of A Quiet Place. If you want to see more videos in this series, I put a playlist in the description below. And I'm here to tell you today why The Tribe is no perfect movie. So The Tribe focuses on a boarding school for deaf kids in the Ukraine that has one huge secret. The majority of the students and teachers are all part of a gang. They commit robberies, the younger students launder money, and they run a prostitution ring. And we see through the eyes of a new student named Sergei as he begins to climb up on the food chain and how his behavior changes drastically as a result. Now the movie, of course, is told in sign language. I don't need to tell you that. But here's the main twist. There are no subtitles, no captions, and no narration provided by other characters. We are left just as much in the wind as a deaf person would be amongst hearing people. So already you have a unique, realistic, and somewhat unsettling atmosphere. But the movie also tells its story in a visual way where you can pretty much guess what each scene is about and what each character's thoughts and feelings are. And the director accomplishes this in a pretty straightforward way. Every scene, from beginning to end, is a long take. Each scene has a free act structure. The first act builds up the mystery surrounding what the scene's going to be about, usually by having characters go from one place to another. The second act involves the character's body language, expressions, and staging suggesting to us what they're talking about, and more importantly, who's in charge. And the third act ends with whoever wins the power struggle. They show dominance over the others, so if someone wins in a fight as an initiation, the other members will congratulate him while the loser stays literally below the others. And that's what makes each long take so effective at telling the story for the actions and the performances. And what impressed me about the acting was that it didn't feel like I was watching people portray characters. It honestly was as if I was watching real people, because even though we don't officially know what they're saying, their expressions are so specific when they're signing that you don't really need subtitles or anything like that to understand where they're coming from. Now, some people have said that this movie ignores the trope of characters being deaf as their main arc, but I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. But what I can say is that it takes that trope and does it in a more subtle way because we don't officially know what they're saying. We have to guess for ourselves. And the guess that I made while watching this movie was that because these characters were supposedly born amongst hearing people and they feel that they have a disadvantage, when they come to this school, they feel as if all the students are going to be treated equally. But then when they're initiated into the gang, it actually becomes a competition just to become higher up in the power and be treated the way you want to be treated. The only issue I really have with the movie is that the ending, while it does fit the tone of the rest of the movie, it is pretty abrupt and a little too ambiguous for me. It revolves around a certain act of violence being committed that I felt like showing the repercussions would have been necessary because any other character in this movie who has committed a deed like that has suffered in some shape or form. And I feel like this character, I won't give away who it is, but I felt like they should have faced up to it. The other issue I had is that there are some scenes that are slower than others. Most of the movie has a fluid pace because characters are always going from one scene to another, the camera's moving along with them, and the actors are always signing. So each scene has a sense of motion. But when characters are sitting down, that motion goes away for a long time because these scenes are just as long as any other. But once those scenes are over, the rest of the movie does pick up and move a lot quicker as a result. So it's more of a nitpick than an actual flaw. If you're looking for a movie that tells its story in a way that you've never seen before, I highly recommend checking out The Tribe. The performances, the long take direction, the way the sign language is portrayed, and the themes about power and corruption, especially towards young adults, all these things combined makes for a movie that has a style that I've never seen before, and after seeing this movie, I still haven't. And for that reason, I'm going to give The Tribe a 4.5 out of 5. Guys, thanks as always for watching. Look forward to more videos in my silent movie series. If you've seen The Tribe, what did you think about it? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, check out my other reviews at noperfectmovie.com. And once again, thank you all very much for watching. Take care.